We're going back in. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> We're going back in. We're off to go do a little bit of carp fishing. Three days until the river's open. Three days. Can't wait. It's going to be great. Where are you guys going? Let me know down below. So yeah, like I said the other day, we're bobbing about lakes and things. All the river's open. Three days. Can't wait. Let's go back in. then guys so a little bit of pace fishing it's not the warmest of days which is best for this method but it's England so you just got to do what you can the rig is the simplest rig I've ever come across I literally just put a pole float on there couple of shot hook length down to a size 12 hook because that's the biggest hook they'll let us fish in here no messing about and bait wise I've got two things I've got balls of paste that I've made up with um, ground bait and then what you've got to do is get it to sort of a doughy consistency and then you've got to knead it you've got to knead it until you get it to like where it's kind of stiff that's what you want and then all we, are, all we have as well is just a bunch of micro pellets I'm just going to be throwing them in the margin hoping for the best I developed this rig when I was about 13 because I hated fishing with the pole and this is just so simple and I used to bag up, and we still do. We do, a little ball of paste, push the hook into it. The biggest hooks you can fish, the better. I've already plumbed up. And we'll just drop it in there like that. Right in the margin. That float needs dotting down just a little bit more. Sit with the rod on your lap, because when you get a bite, you get a bite. And then just off at the top of it, just little pinches of micro pellets, try and keep it as tight as you can to the bank. You want them feeding up the bank, right where your bait's gonna be. And it's literally as simple as that. All you've got to do is wait for a bite. You have to be consistent with the pellets. Every five minutes, that splash, wallop, look at that, straight away. First cast, first cast, no messing about, what have we got, make sure your clutch is set right, very first cast, look at that, they love that paste, love that paste, there you go, didn't give much of a fight that one did it there is some lumps in here like so hopefully we can get into a couple of those today that's a decent fish come on there you go fish number one in the bag what did that take 12 seconds <laughs> told you to keep the rod in your hand keep it on your lap Yes. There you go. There you go. All oh, the hooks come out, look. How about that? Come on. Beautiful first fish. That'll do it, won't it? Yes. What was that? About four and a half pound, maybe? Out of there, that's what we came for. <laughs> Simple as that, guys. No messing about. And then, literally, same again. Another little ball of ground, another little ball of paste. Can't resist it. They can't resist it. 
Let me bring that float down a little bit. You can use literally, as long as it's a, a smallish float, no matter what float you use, as long as it's like under about three gram, you're laughing. Drop that back in there. Hell, that's too much now, look. Too much. Just gonna have to lift it up so you can see when we get a bite. It's still not a bite, still not a bite. This float's dancing about all over the place, but that's not a bite. All up. There you go. There you go. Knew that wasn't going to take long. Wallop. You could have £100 in no time. Absolute no time. Look at that. For these couple, I probably could have fished the pole and they'd have just started about in front of me, but as soon as you get a big one on and it tears off, just havoc, absolute havoc. Especially if you're fishing margin, because you what if you got two sections of pole out and you're trying to find the rest of the pole to ship together. And the only time I'll get the pole out is if I'm doing a bit of either roach fishing or a bit of dace fishing on river. There you go. We're easy going to get into them lumps today. Fine, they don't like the net, so I'm going to keep it out of the water until they've finished fighting. This one's got a bit more fight in it. Then you red up. I can't believe how quick that's happened. I've had two fish in a couple of minutes. No messing about. Only a small one. I find them smaller ones are. They're a bit more erratic, you know. There you go. Really? Oh, no. No, the bloody hook popped out. The bloody hook popped out. Darting about all over the place. It's because of these, it's a small size 12, this. Get away with those bigger size 12s, you're laughing. I don't believe it. There, look. She's a tiny size 12. You need biggest hook you can when you're fishing this paste. Like a size 10 would be perfect. Go on, go on. Go on. Bloody take it, will you? Wallop, there you go. There you go. No, man, there was that much ripple. I could see all the ripple where they had their heads down and the fan, the wave in the top of the water and all the water's rippling about. I actually want to see this one. This method is deadly. Deadly. I don't know why you'd want to go to like sitting on bite alarms, you know what I mean? When you could just come do this and have 100 pound of fish. Why wouldn't you want to do that? I mean, yeah, it's nice and relaxing and stuff, but I'm like a productive angler. I like to actually catch fish <laughs> you know come on big lad there you go you've had enough you've had enough get yourself in there three fish in the space of ten minutes ten minutes I didn't lip. 
Perfect. Another perla. There you go. There's fish there. There you go. That one far away. All up. Literally all these fish have come within about two or three minutes of each other. It's another small one that will do. Bag in. I cannot resist a lump of paste. Come on. There you go. Wallop. <laughs> this is almost too easy. Almost too easy. You're a little lump, look at you. Best old little lump. Got belly on it. <laughs> it's a good few pounds, that. Be three and a half pound. Yeah. Can get one of those big ones before we give up. I'll be happy with that. All up. Oh, you don't know what to do, dear. The only small. <laughs> There's so many fishing peg, it's crazy. They do not but laugh the float about. They should come in quite quick, it's only a small one. Again. Sun's come out now. Lovely day. <laughs> there you go. Playing havoc. We're back in, man. To be fair, it's summer. You come dry as the winter, you wouldn't have a fish. <laughs> Come on, big lad. Oh, hook's come out. There you go. Smashing. See you later on. So let's get that big one. Let's get that big one. Let's put a bigger lump on. See if we can't attempt to big one. All up, all up. That floor ain't sat still. Well, this might be a better one. This might be a better one. It's definitely a better one. What did I say last? Last cast. Let's get a big one. It's definitely a big one. Come on. Yeah, it's a decent fish. If you're good enough, keep the pellets going in the peg. It's because you're playing a fish. Cut it right over the other side of the lake. Where are you going? This is a big fish, this, you know. Perfect. Foolproof, foolproof method. Okay, who you are? Like I said, I was 13 when I developed this method. Hey up, hey up. 
doing? Pull off. Reading scissors. There you go. They've all been about the same stamp, really, aren't they? Out of there. Alright then guys, we're all done down here now. Amazing day. That pace method is like next level if you want to catch some fish. So maybe give it a whirl. Doesn't matter how you fish it really. Just fish the paste, you're going to bag up. I'm back out on the road as of this weekend, ready for the season opening. It's going to be amazing. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you there. Bye. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate you going down below, smashing that like button. Also, maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next episode.